Okay, so I'm going to try this out and see how it goes. Um, let's see here. I'm going to adjust this slightly and just to see how it picks up and if it gets too loud or too soft, uh, we can do it. So um, I'm doing this livery of death and um, I'm actually like just tweaking it to get a good sign. Um, let's, uh, I want to do this up to about, uh, let's try 50 five percent trying to get this a good size yeah that looks good okay <clears throat> so uh we're playing um the largest the long scenario um oops let's see here yeah there we go that'll be good okay i think that'll work that looks pretty good on here so we're gonna do the longest scenario and i like to do it in the period events so this keeps it somewhat historical uh it puts certain things in um so I'm going to click the button here, and it actually takes care of my cards uh, with it. Now, there is one uh, one issue, and I think it's Boston. Yeah, Boston. This needs to be um, support, adjust towards support. So that should be a four. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so I've got this uh, taken care of here. So we've got everything starting out. Um, I've got my cards, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit um, draw a card. So we're going to draw two cards. So we have our first core card here, and then we have our upcoming card here. Um, so, and there are uh, several cards here. Um, so this pulls up, and let me um, bring this over here. Um, so we have our stroke of brilliant, brand stroke, execute two free limited commands and one special in order. Um, leaders must be involved in at least one of the limited commands. Um, we have the um, Patriots. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to be doing this until I can get it up. <laughs> Once I get it up. <clears throat> so, excellent, two limited commands and one special. So, there's this one. Um, we have the Native Americans, which again, um, two limited commands and one special activity. Leader must be involved in at least one of the commands. So uh, there's different ones, parts down here. Um, so British may trump uh, Patriot, brilliant stroke. Um, so we've got all these um, here. And then the French actually have two. So they have the Treaty of Alliance. If the French preparation, so French pieces, plus blockades available to the French block or the CBC, um, if French has greater than 15 to play. So that's over here. So we have zero forces to play. Now Rochambeau is available uh, with that. Uh, so, so these are the brilliant strokes uh, that we can do. So the French may trade Trump, the Patriot, or the British, and all phallic factions must be eligible. So these are done in the middle. Um, oh, oh, let me pull up the French one more time because they have... Um, they really can't do too much until uh, the Treaty of Alliance is actually played. Uh, these brilliant strokes uh, come in. So uh, we'll probably play a couple rounds um, until I can kind of see how things are going uh, with them. Now, I'm playing this. It's obviously four factions. I'm playing it as two-player game. Uh, so in that case, I am playing the... there. So there's we have the Rebellion and the Loyalists. So the Loyalists consist of the Native Americans... <clears throat> and the British, and then the Rebellion is the Patriots, and, or, you know, the Continentals, the U.S., uh, the colonies, and the British, okay? So what are their actual uh, goals? Well, let's take a look at it here. Um, so we'll pull this up here. I'm going to pull this up just so I can make sure that everything's going on for the view. And we're going to look down here. So... To win as a two-player game, you have to have both your areas, um, both your uh, opportunities or both your um, factions have to be in their winning. So for the British or for the um, Loyalists to win, which would be the British and the Indians, uh, so you need the British, which uh, support exceeds opposition by more than 10, and the CRC, so the Casualty... Um, uh, what is, how do they have it? Basically, you have to have the, the Royal have to have more than the British or the, the Rebels have to have, it's, um, no, 
Yeah, yeah that's right. The casualties the British or the royal uh, rebel rebels have to be greater. So the rebels casualties can be both uh, Patriot and or French and have to be greater. So we've got and right now um, support and opposition are equal. Okay, so you have to hit this one. Um, and you have to hit the Indians, which support uh, exceeds opposition by more than 10. And villages is less. Three is greater than Patriot Forts. So I had to look this up. It, it, it sounds a little confusing when I was reading this. But basically, you take the number of Indian villages, which there are 12 available to start off with in the game. And you take three off of whatever you have in uh, on, on the board. And if that's greater um, than, uh, than the Patriot forts, then they win. Now, to win the game, both the British and the Native Americans, Indians, would have to actually, um, they'd have to both be in that category when we hit our winter quarters um, of, of game or card. So um, if you're playing any other of the other games, it's basically like the coup cards or the propaganda cards, depending on which game you play. So it works out pretty simple. Um, and you'll see these cards, these, uh, this, uh, you'll see, we'll use these to tell us, you know, what we can do and things like that uh, for that. So we have the British and then we have the Indians and then we have the Patriots, the French. Uh, we have our sequence of play uh, with this. Uh, and then we have our battle procedure, which this is different than most of the other um, games out there. Uh, when it comes to battling, uh, their battling is definitely is very, very important. And then we also one difference about this game is we actually have leaders and stuff happens. They have capabilities when they're in their certain uh, when they're in with the battle or certain spaces and stuff like that will actually um, change the capabilities. So that's kind of that. And I'll bring this up when, when we're looking at uh, playing the game. So let's take a look at a little bit more uh, what we've also got to do. So um, I'm not going to go through the heavy rules, but I'm going to give you kind of a brief overview of what we're looking at. And by the way, this map is probably one of the most beautiful maps, uh, I believe, out there. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and if you have the map, you guys understand they did a great job with this map. So uh, just... It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. And you can look at my unboxing of this game and I rant and rave about this, the, the, just how beautiful this is. So as we got here, so the way the coin game works is you have your, um, at the top of the cards, you have, so the one with the, the little dots, what looks like little dots, but the little fleur de lis is French. And then you can, you can get the colon, colonies flag. You can, probably figure out the, the, the Native American flag, and then also the um, Union Jack. So this is how the turn order would go with all factions eligible, which currently they are. If you look over here, all of them are eligible. Um, so that works out pretty well. And uh, so the first one would be the French would go first. Now, <clears throat> one of the reasons why I chose to go with the French with the two-player game is the French generally just sit around and do nothing for the first third half of the game and so it really starts to build up and they have to build up and get to a certain point where they can jump in so if you look um so that's and so they would go first you only have two factions that go at a time you can pass and if you pass the patriots and ending it's one resources the british and french get two resources here um if you pass uh and then the next person would go so if the french so in this case, uh, the French backlash against the French British resources plus three. Well, that's not going to be good. So generally, the um, colonists or the rebels, colonists and the French, actually um, generally will do the shaded part of the box, which is extend range of privateers impacts uh, British shipping. Uh, British resources minus two, Patriot resources plus one, and raise the FNI level one. So the FNI is the French intervention level. So you can actually uh, increase this um, and as we go through different activities. This is actually not too bad because it actually does lower the British um, uh, resources. And like I said, the French are really trying to 
basically get things available for this so they can enter in um, and they have a bunch of troops not available. So what's nice is you can always look at the next card and find out if it's better. So in this case, the, the Patriots uh, strengthen their commitment in up to four spaces with militia. Now militia um, are, ooh, see, now I gotta remember. Pretty sure the militia are the hexagonals. So they're these group, that's this group right here. And the squares are the regular troops. So in this case, it would be in spaces, in up to four spaces with militia, Patriots may add an active militia. So um, militia spots, we have in Virginia, New York, and Massachusetts. And by the way, this gets cramped real quickly. So there is an overflow area here. So this may be one of those things where um, we can add the overflow. And I think if you right click it, um, hmm, it doesn't have that. I was hoping it would. Uh, yeah, I was hoping that would. Okay, uh, but anyways, we can use overflow area A if we need to and, and go through there. Um, so <clears throat> I guess kind of the best way to get into this is kind of get into the game. I've played this once or twice before, so I know the rules pretty well, but the strategy um, isn't always as good. But we definitely want to increase. Um, so I'm going to scroll back over. I wonder why that scroll over that way. So uh, we have uh, so we have different um Items here, we have total opposition, total support. Right now they're at four. And um, if you remember the um, if you remember the winning conditions, they have to be support exceeds opposition by more than 10. So it's not just reaching 10, it has to be more than 10. So total support uh, for this to get to get support or to get opposition <coughs> or support, sorry, support exceeds you would have to be at 14 for that to go through and we'd have to have some casualties, uh, which we don't have right now. Obviously we haven't, um, you know, uh, battled at all. Uh, so it's gonna be hard to do that um, with that. So, and then these pawns are resources. Uh, so right now the British has seven, the French have five, the Patriots have three and the Native Americans have zero, French preps at zero, uh, and there are no um, cumulative rebellion casualties and, and communion uh, British uh, casualties are at zero, of course. So <clears throat> British, what they need to do is they need to build up uh, support, and that's kind of what we're gonna focus on. And so how do you build support? Well, that's where we go through. So I'm going to start probably with some turns here. Um, I, How many spots do I have? Okay, so let's take a look at the French. So I believe the French, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, um, so the French can go first. So let's look at the player aids and figure out what the French can do. So the French can A, uh, French agent mobilization, add Patriot militia or Continentals. Um, so in one space, Quebec, New York, New Hampshire, or Massachusetts, if not at active support, nobody's at active support, it costs us one resource, place two militia or one continental in either Quebec, New York, or them, not at active support. So that's one thing we can do. I'm not even going to try this. Um, so it's going to increase Patriot supports, cost one or more resources. In so basically, we're trading... Uh, <laughs> We're trading um, the support uh, resources. So it's costing one resource for the French and then they can have one um, with that. They can muster, they can bring regulars to America. Um, this is only after the Treaty of Alliance. March, only after Treaty of Alliance and battle only after Treaty of Alliance. Now, so basically, the, and this one, the French agent mobilization, these two go together. You have to use, so the special activity, these two go together. So um, move pieces from unavailable to available. Uh, move one squadron blockade to West Indies or three French regulars from unavailable to available and add two resources to the French resources. So this isn't too bad. So you pay one here to get one there. Um, this one will also um, trading this one over. So basically we really, what we, what we really wanna do is um, is get this going. So I, I really don't 
the British resources losing two, Patriots won. If um, we're going to do that anyways um, with this. So I think the French, what they're going to do first, so we're going to do the French, we're going to play the French first because um, they need to get mobilized. So, you know what, let's see. Can I shrink this up just a little bit? Let's see how this goes. Um, this is the first time I'm using uh, Vassal to do a video play. Um, so I can, okay, that's, that's good because I can scroll over. If it's just column, we'll just do one column at a time. Okay. Now you can go, you can do the special activity first, but in this case, it's not important for me to uh, because I do have plenty of that. So we're gonna add, so we're gonna place two militia in one continental in either Quebec, New York, New Hampshire, or Massachusetts. Um, Quebec, New York, um, New Hampshire, Massachusetts. So let's put this right here. So New Hampshire, Massachusetts. Um, hmm. New York's not an active. Um, it's not New York City, it's New York. Um, so they're not there. It's under British control right now, which I know that um, right now that's... It is what it is. Um, I think what I might do is go into um, New Hampshire. So yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. So this will cost the British one resource, which if I remember right, you can do this. Um, so that actually decreases the resources automatically to four. And then I can take, uh, what is it, two militia. So I'm gonna write this, draw multiple. We're gonna click two. Uh, you can't see this, this part's off screen. Maybe I should have it on screen so you can see. Grab two, hit OK, and then I'll just pull two, and then we'll go up to uh, New Hampshire. Oh, let's keep going. New Hampshire here. Oh, that didn't pull up to. Oh, there it is. Okay. It was just, uh, uh, <laughs> but if you notice, there's two here. Um, so we'll just, yeah, there we go. It's going a little slow all of a sudden. Um, and then I can pull one, is it one regular? It is one continental, so we'll do that. So we'll pull this up here. We'll put the one continental right here. Oh, I forgot to move something, okay. So we'll just do it that way, it'll be easier. So this is going to do, and what's nice is we're gonna do uh, command and special activity uh, because if we, if we take a look at this, I'm just gonna move this over slightly. Um, the next one is, oh, 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 I need to undo that. I have no idea. Okay, there we go. Uh, the next one is the uh, rebels. Uh, they might actually take uh, the resources because they are kind of low in resources and they've got out. And then, so that's, so we did this one. I paid my one resource. And so um, then the next part is a special activity. I can either move a French squadron uh, to the West Ind Indies or three French regulars from unavailable to available. Well, let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and put the French squadron. Let's do that here. So we're going to put this into the West Indies. Um, okay. Um, and then, uh, and then we get to add two resources. Or add, oh, okay, or add two resource, okay, or add two, okay. We're good right now, so that's that one. So then um, I can end faction play, which will um, take all you know, the lines off and everything like that. And so our next card, or not the next card, we got two. So our next one would be the Americans or the Patriots. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Patriots here and what they have. So they can rally which is um, any spaces without active support, militia may not be placed in Indian Reserve spaces or the West Indies. Uh, it's one resource per space. Uh, place uh, one militia or replace two units with one fort. So we really want to get our forts out too as well. So getting more um, forts out there is, is always better. Um, if a Patriot fort instead either place Militia up to population plus forts or move adjacent militia there and flip all militia underground. If desired, replace any militia with 
in any one space containing a fort with continentals. Okay, so we definitely want to get forts out. Um, that's one of those key things. So that's a rally, um, which is what we're going to be doing a lot of earlier in the game. Uh, but as you can see, it's one resource per place, um, and we have currently have three resources. Uh, March, pretty self-explanatory. One resource per destination space. Uh, for either French space, enter the French must also pay one resource. Um, so, okay, so resource per destination space. For each space, French enter the French. Okay, so I can march either Continentals or French or Militia. But if I move French, they have to pay as well they have to pay their their resources as well um that makes sense uh move patriot units into adjacent space uh if destination is british controlled city and moving militia plus british cubes there exceeds three um activating the militia continentals may bring french regular one for one activate one war party for every two continentals there Okay, battle. Uh, when we get to the battle, we'll get there. Uh, it's a, like I said, it's different. And rabble rousing. In any space with a rabble control and patriot pieces or one or more underground units, and it's one resource per space, um, procedure. If no rebel control, rebellion control, activate one underground militia in each space, place propaganda marker, and shift level towards active opposition. So this is how we're going to get our active opposition or uh, up opposition up. Because remember, we need to have our opposition exceeding support by more than 10. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Most likely, we're not going to hit any of these. And when we get to the final, and if we do, it'll be, it's game over. But when, and it's only with the winner's cor, cor, winner quarters card. Uh, and when we get there, um, we'll go through that. But most likely, we'll go through the whole event, the whole game on that. Uh, persuasion, uh, so this basically gains resources, uh, which is really, you know, we, we definitely need. So uh, basically for each selected colony or city, and we can go up to three colonies or cities with rebellion control and patriot pieces, including underground militia. So you got to have all that. Add one patriot resource and acti activate one underground militia. Place a propaganda marker in each unless none are available. Partisans is use militia to strike royalist pieces. Any, uh, any, but not in a battle space. So if you've battled, um, and if you look on the uh, side here, this says any. So you can do any of these special effects. Um, and matter of fact, while I'm doing it this way, I think I might just bring it all the way out so you guys can see both. So if you notice any, um, and it tells you these are max of three. So the Patriots can use any of the special activities. And then finally, a skirmish, which is, oh, wait. Um, so what's the procedure for partisan? So you can activate one underground militia and remove one royalist unit, which is either the regulars. or No, the royalists are the greens. Um, no, that's the loyalists. Yeah. Yeah. So the royalist unit, uh, which would be the green or the red, um, activate two underground militia to remove one of the two militia and remove two royalist units um, or if no war parties remove one village activate two underground militias and remove one of the two militia cubes are removed to casualties okay so that's kind of where we can get some casualties going on here um, the, it's not militia so uh, the royalists like I said are the green and uh, yeah, red cubes so the green are loyalists, so they're actually the ones that are here while the reds are regular, but they're all rebellious. The tan are the Native Americans, and then I kind of, in the stars are the forts. Okay, so that's a long explanation uh, for that one, uh, which, so um, basically what we're going to do is we're just going to rally. Um, <laughs> and so we're just going to take this, and then we're going to rally. So, and then we'll move it back. Oops. Patriots. You know what? I bet I can move this up so I can have one thing at a time up here, which makes it easier. Okay. So, so we're going to, so basically, but then what we do is limited command and event. So I can only do a command. 
I cannot do a special activity in this case. If uh, the British would have, or if the French would have chosen, was would have chosen the event, um, then the rebels could uh, get the command. Now I'm going to tell you this is not always the way it works out, and after a while it, it is. But we definitely need to um, we need to rally so we can rally in any spaces without active support. Militia may not be placed in Indian reserve space in an Indian reserve space, which if I remember right, I have to look at that for sure. But I think that's like um, the Southwest and the Northwest. I think those are Indian reserve areas, uh, which would make sense because we have the, um, uh, oh, I can't remember what it is. It's, the, it's 1763. I know it's the line. Uh, it's from the Treaty of 1763. And I can't remember what it's called. And it's bothering me now. I taught this so much and I can't remember what it's called. I'll look it up and, and it'll be on the next one. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, so we can, what's nice is, okay, so this should be, uh, this should be, um, That's weird. I'll have to look at that real quick here because I thought New Hampshire would be um, uh, controlled here. Um, let me look that up real quick. Hold on. Well, I don't want to stop. Um, I'll look it up in a minute here. So we're gonna go ahead and, um, so we're gonna place a black pawn. So I can do a limited, is it a limited command or just a command? What is it? Limited command and um, event sequence of play. Okay, so. It's a winter quarters card. Okay, so give me one second, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so when we have Okay, so let's see here. Let's go back to Patriot. It's usually a really good... Oh, that's a playbook. Dang it. Okay, here, sorry. Um, this thing won't let me pause the recording. So let's see here, control. I wanna see what control is, because I thought New Hampshire should have control, because um, they have three units. So I wanna see exactly uh, what control, position of more pieces in a province or city by a side than the other side, marked for British or rebellion. Control instead, control the Indians alone cannot control. So, yeah, so this should be controlled. So if I do this, this is the most up-to-date module. Okay, so I can place one militia. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to undo that. So what I'm going to do is um, I am going to take and I'm going to uh, return to available force. 
uh, return to available force, and I am actually going to put a uh, I'm going to put a um, I'm going to put a, a fort there. So I'm going to drag a fort over here. Okay, so in New Hampshire. Um, so that's going to cost the that's going to cost the Patriots one resource for because uh, I can only do one there, so that'll cost the Patriots one resource, which I just did. Um, and now I have a fort in New Hampshire, so let's move this here. Okay. Um, so then. Uh, So we can do end card play. Oh shoot, that was supposed to end faction play. Um, anyways, so did that work? Yeah, so I ended card play. Um, so that actually moved, if you notice, that actually moved the card to discard and then I can hit draw card right here. Oh, so there's an issue with this module. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So, well, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop it here um, and then uh, go figure out why that module, let's see what's going on with that. But, um, so then I drew a card, so this would be it. And if you notice, then it'd be, uh, so who would go first? It would be the Native Americans and then the Brits as well. Um, soldiers leave. Execute Patriot desertion as per winter. Ooh. Uh Ooh, 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 maybe I should have taken that one. I could have taken the event. Oh, well. So, anyways, um, so this is, honestly, this is a test. Um, and I'm going to save this uh, and go from there. Uh, we're looking at 32 minutes uh, already. So, um, I'm going to leave it at this. And then I'm going to figure out what's up with this one and see if there's, um, I'm going to, yeah, you know, I'll play around with it. So let me go ahead and I'll uh, save it and then we'll go from there. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Um, so I'll put this out and then uh, next video, I'll either know if we had to start over or if I was able to reuse this one. So, okay, talk to you later. Bye.